Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing a movie. Now, I haven't reviewed a western type movie in a while, I guess you can say. And, um, and I figured, yeah, hell, I guess I'll review a western film. Uh, and this one is titled The Castaway Cowboy. So, yeah, we're going really old school this time around, folks. Which is fine because I'm usually reviewing old movies anyway. So, yeah, you can actually watch this on Disney Plus if you signed up for it, obviously, and if you feel like it. So, yeah, I know there's definitely plenty of um, um, other stuff you can watch, obviously. But. I just wanted to review an old school movie, like I would usually do it anyway. Yeah, not gonna lie, I did watch a bunch of stuff on The film had like a trigger warning right in the beginning, right before it started. Which makes absolutely no sense, like at all, as far as I'm concerned. And it, it's referring to the fact that there was some white guy beating up some nati native from this land. Night, it, that still doesn't make any sense. I mean, it, it was not out of militia's intent. One native guy just got, just got offended because the one white guy did a few things better than what he did. It was not a state. This was not a statement towards any racial stuff, like at all. So people took things out of context as they would usually would. Oh uh, boy. So if anything, the one guy, the one native guy, just allowed his pride to get the best of him, which a lot of guys do anyway. So it's like a guy thing when you think about it. So what the hell? Okay, I really didn't do anything wrong, really. He was just really skilled at doing things, so things like doing, teaching kids about the cowboy stuff and how to be cowboys and whatnot. And he was actually doing a lot better than what the one native guy from the land that he's a part of. If anything, it was just like a pride thing. That was very toxic, if anything. I don't see any of these social just warriors complaining about that kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, right, because they're being selective about it. Case in point, this person gets picked on for looking girly. Yeah, that's actually he. That looks extremely feminine, and some people are actually into that, and they get picked on for that. Okay, still don't see no feminazis or social justice wars say anything about that. And there's some people that will call him an egg. What does that mean exactly? You can find out. I I don't got time to explain all this. Anyway, so that's like my little pick at what they put there, I guess. Anyway, look for stuff that's not even there. Come on. Anyway, I have this film like, on my to-do list, which I know is beaten up to hell. And, uh, I still have room to add more uh, movies to review, I guess, but I'm just have been on my list to review for quite a while, anyway. Anyway, as usual, let's get into the plot, shall we? So, here we go, I guess. Yeah. The cowboy in question is Texan because, well, of course he is. Cowboys and whatnot, and Indians and all that jazz. Anyway, said cowboy character has been saved while at sea by this young boy. The thing is that he does wish to go back to where he's from. However, he will in fact help the very family of his rescuer because, well, it's the right thing to do, of course. But yeah, it's something that he must do, obviously. So yeah, one day while fishing, this uh, this kind of thing happens with his... um. Young boy does discover this man floating on the on the water. The man is brought into the house, of course, where his mother and housekeeper attend to him, of course. And then, you know, he get as time goes, he starts to get better and better, be nourished, nourished, or, or how do you call it, uh, nursed, Nur or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. He's he's brought back, to, he's restored back to health, full health, I guess you can say. And they start doing things around the place. And there's some conflict that was, like I was mentioning earlier. Some people out there, some people didn't like what he was doing. Well, at least that one guy didn't like what he was doing anyway. And uh, because he came, looks like he became rather good at it and whatnot. Oh, well, everybody else was kind of like, okay, that's great. Uh, like they were kind of like, whatever, I guess. And they seem to be happy in some ways, I suppose. But anyway, that seems to be like the legit overall idea of the story, I guess you can say. Maybe some teaching involved or whatnot. And, um, finding uh, an alternative method on how to learn about some things and whatnot, or whatever. So, it's like, um, yeah. 
So this was definitely uh, a movie I can say. Well, it's not bad. Not by any means. It's not terrible. I did like the outfits and whatnot that they were wearing because he definitely gave you a sense of what, of what's going on, of course. And um, uh, and uh, yeah. So main character, obviously, he's the manliest man that the manliest man, manliest man can be, of course. Uh, obviously, which yes, at this point, is pretty much stereotypical. I guess you can say. Of course, the cowboy is gonna be from Texas. Of course, the guy. The cowboy's gonna be rugged, and of course he's gonna be manly, manly, and all that jazz. That's to, that's to be expected, I guess you can say. But the way he's done, it's not terrible. But he he never um uh is rude about it. Okay, why well, it's not exactly the most action-packed, shoot 'em up type of a movie that I would typically watch. It's, it's not that, that's for sure. So I do kind of miss it though. And, but for what it's worth, I did like it. It's a pretty solid story overall. Though I do miss the whole shit em up action packed stuff that I got used to to these types of movies. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, not a bad movie, that's for sure. So I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it gets a 7.0 out of 10 for me. Of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.